Hey y'all, it's your girl Marvel back with another makeup tutorial and if you want to see how I did this kind of retro vintage comic book style Superman makeup, keep on watching. I begin by using this pencil white eyeliner and I create this really thick cat eye on both of my eyelids. I also used it on my waterline and inner corners. Using my finger, I applied this yellow eyeshadow to my lower lash lines only. With this makeup look, I think it's better if you use matte eyeshadows than shimmery. If you feel it's necessary, blend out the lower lash lines using a stiff fluffy brush. I'm using my stiff fluffy brush to apply blue eyeshadow to my eyelids. I don't know if there's a specific word to describe this shade of blue, but later on in this tutorial, I do go over it with a darker shade of blue, but I do think that both shades of blue I use in this video work. So be sure to pack it on as opaque as possible. You don't want any white spots creeping out. At this point, you can use your trusty eyelash curler and curl your lashes and apply mascara, but I decided not to do that. I just went in with my black liquid liner and lined my upper lash line first. I created a wing, and when I was satisfied with that, I outlined the entire blue sections. Please be extremely careful with this part because it's easy to mess up and difficult to clean up. I used a black pencil liner to line my lower water lines. I probably should have made my water lines darker. So if I were to do that, I would have dipped my pencil liner in a black gel liner pot and then apply it to my lower water lines. I think if you wanted to wear fake eyelashes with this, a yellow and black very artificial pair of lashes would look great. I'm taking the brush that came with my black gel liner pot and using black gel liner to outline the yellow part underneath my eyes, but I'm not fully connecting it, if you know what I mean. And then I'm going over my eyebrows to make them look more comic book-like. And by that, I mean using harsh lines that are about the same thickness as my natural brows. If you want to overdraw your eyebrows, that's fine, but I just wanted to keep the same size. I think I went over with a darker shade of blue so that it would match the hoodie I'm wearing. Anyways, I'm using a red pencil liner to line my lips and then fill it all in. I went over that with a red lipstick. I really like cherry red even though that's not the same shade of red that Superman wears. But then again, it also depends on which Superman you're talking about. I didn't have any specific Superman in mind when I was making this as a 17 year old. So I use my black gel liner to outline my lips. I highly recommend making your cupid's bow pointy so that it looks more comic book like. I dragged the brush down my nose, but I didn't care about it being perfect. I did that to the sides of my nostrils and the hollows of my cheeks. Using my red pencil liner, I created the shape of Superman's crest, and then I made the iconic S insignia. Something that's so apparent to me as a 21-year-old watching my 17-year-old makeup videos is that I think I did really good with my face, but I still had a lot to learn when it comes to putting makeup on my body. Like, I'm not really happy with how this logo looks. I used my pinky to blend out blue eyeshadow on the outline. Lastly, I used a white pencil eyeliner to create these white circles in various parts of my face and neck. A lot of people will cover their entire face and body with dots when they're doing comic book makeup, but I was more inspired by Made You Look. So Lex's version of comic book makeup. I highly recommend checking out her comic book makeup video. So it's like I'm making two stripes on my face, except they're dots. I didn't go over any previously applied makeup. I just, I guess, accommodated. And I made sure to also create black lines on my neck. Beginning on the outer sides of my neck and then working my way in so closer to the sigil. And lastly, I used white liquid eyeliner to create these lines and a dot on my mouth. 
I unfortunately did not film an outro for this, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am definitely going to redo this makeup. In the meantime, please check out my other makeup tutorials. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it on Pinterest, follow my social media. I am Bok Choy Goddess on Twitch and Instagram. And this video is done.